First question over here on the left side. Hey, Kawhi, Trista Crick, USA Today. There's been a lot of talk about staying focused in the moment, locking in game to game, but as human beings, it's incredibly difficult to not think about the future. How do you personally stay present? What's your process? Um, just stay in the same routine uh, and just focus on what's in front of me, really. Uh, obviously, like you said, as human beings, we do think in the future. Um, been thinking in the future since, you know, the beginning of the season, just trying to get to this point. But um, you just got to stay current and stay in your routine, be patient and don't rush anything. Tim in the back right. Kawhi, Tim Reynolds with the Associated Press. Back here. Y you were on, of course, the Spurs team in 13. That was up 3-2. Then you guys were up 3-1. You closed it out in 14. Obviously, you have a chance to close out now. The fact that you've been in this situation a few times, is there anything that's different about a finals closeout game than trying to close one out in the first three rounds? Uh, I mean, obviously, you're playing against a, a better team, championship team. Um, that's pretty much the only difference of it, um, other than a regular playoff game. You're just playing against a better team at that point, point in time. Davide on the right side. Uh, Kawhi, Davide Kinellato, Gazzetta Italy. Uh, Canada's getting crazy about the Raptors, and uh, you're one win away from doing something historic, like winning a championship. Uh, do you guys embrace this frenzy game taken around you, or you're keeping them out just to stay focused on the game? Uh, I mean, I think we've been embracing it this whole time. Uh, you know, just enjoying the support and the energy that they're bringing to the team. And, um, you know, with that being said, it's just, you know, they help us stay focused on um, in a moment. And we just, we just can't, we just got to be patient. Don't rush anything. And stay focused on what we're doing. Just take it a minute at a time. Standing over here on the left side. Lucas Meyer, you just talked 1010 Toronto. Kawhi, there was uh, you know, some speculation earlier this week that uh, you had purchased property in the city. I'm just curious if you wanted to uh, clarify if, in fact, that actually occurred. No, it didn't. It didn't happen yet, no. And just one follow up, and then in for, the, for, the, uh, for the game tonight, uh, for the game tomorrow, excuse me. Do you feel any. You guys an opportunity to close out at home game five without going back to Oakland. Do you guys feel as a unit any kind of internal pressure to get it done here, you know, avoid going back uh, to Oakland? Or is that more of a kind of an externality that, that the conversation about pressure is something that doesn't really, you know, get into the room, if you will? I mean, it is pressure with every game, but I don't think it's any added pressure to it. You know, we still got to go out there and, you know, play a basketball game. Um, you never whatever game or um, significance of the game or time, you, you always, you know, either want to play great defense or make a shot. So it's pretty much just a title over it right now. And just go out and play. Play it, enjoy it, and whatever happens, we'll see see the results. Arash on the left side. Kawhi Arash Madani from Sportsnet to your left. Because your season, you played so few games last year. The fact that you're now in the finals and been part of this run, does that individually, personally make that sweeter for you? Um, yeah, I mean, well, the, the year I had last year and then just be able to play in the finals this year has been great. But, um, you know, I've been happy just being able to return back to basketball, at the, you know, the beginning of the regular season. And it's, um, you know, pretty much something that, um, you know, I look back on of not being able to play and now I'm able to play. So it's just like, to me, just enjoy this while you're here because you never know when, you know, those times will come. You're not going to be able to play or you get injured. So that's what it, my mindset, um, you know, really comes from and, you know, what made me grow as a player because those are the worst times in, um, you know, basketball. It's not losing games or you know, um, missing shots. It's about you being able to play or not on the floor. You know, this is what we grew up our whole lives to, or I grew up my whole life wanting to do is to play in the NBA. And, you know, when that's taken away, it's terrible. Standing on the left side. 
Kawhi, Alex Wong, Yahoo Sports. Um, you know, you've talked a lot in the playoffs about not caring about individual stats and more about team wins. I'm wondering after a game, when you're looking at a box score in this series, what are the stats you're looking at that jumps out to you to tell you that the team's played a good game? Um, I'm looking at rebounds, uh, turnovers, and a uh, field goal percentage for, for each team. And um, obviously points in the paint and just seeing, um, you know, what was the runs. That's pretty much it. It's just but the big the big three things that I look at is turnovers and rebounds and um, field goal percentage. Michael here on the left. Why uh, Michael Grange from Sportsnet? Just going back to your mindset and things. Um, were you always able to to stay present, or was that sort of a skill you've uh, you've developed uh, over your career? And maybe what did you do? What were your role, role models if that was the case? Um, I kind of, you know, just growing up playing basketball pretty much, um, like I always say, just learning from, you know, past experience, past games that I lost, games that I won, seeing what I felt like or what I was thinking um, at those specific times and just bringing it back to, uh, you know, current day reality, um, the moment that I'm in and, you know, making sure I could use, uh, you know, the things that were good and delete the things that were bad to, you know, help me be more successful. When did you feel like you'd really kind of reached a good level at that? Like, like when did you, when did you kind of feel like mentally you'd, you'd sort of reached a high, a high level um, in that ability? Yeah, I'm still trying to get better every day today. What it, um, you know, you know um, either with basketball or off the, off the floor, um, you know, it's an everyday battle. Mark, on the right side. Kawhi, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. You can't blame players when they get excited and celebrate in the middle of a, a big victory. And you guys had two epic wins in Oracle. But after game four, you all marched off. And anyone who watched that would have thought you guys had been defeated. How is it possible that all 15 of you could all have that same expression that looked like maybe you lost the game instead of won it? I think it's just we're focused. Um, we, we know that it doesn't mean anything um, until it's someone that has four wins. Uh, you never know what could happen, and you got to take advantage of it and, you know, don't get overly hyped and excited. Um, still a great, ba great basketball team on the other, on the other side, and um, I think that was our mindset. Uh, we had a goal going out there, and you know we accomplished it. And now we we have to do it in um, you know possible three games. Got to win one. Thank you, Kawhi. Kyle, be next.